Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope every everybody's doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favor and definitely hope, hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just give you a good uplift, please go ahead, you know, go ahead and share that. It would be greatly appreciated. I don't know what I was trying to say, but hey, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, spiritual warfare hitting deep coming from all directions please do not lose hope um before i get started i would love to give a a um uh, a dedication to my dad he, his anniversary was yesterday of eternal life um and as well as my best friends her hers is today as well so i'm dedicating this this video to both of them um going through spiritual warfare is it's been hitting us heavy you know um for a while and it, it's just like you can feel like you um, you've cleared your slate for so many different things, and it could be like you you're like oh I forgive or I allowed myself to accept, or you know I took my power or recognized my own power. I got my faith, you know my belief, and all these different things. And next thing you know, like about fifty eleven other things come popping up, and this is where it is doing. It just seems like it's doing a hardcore cleanse. Like we're going through a whole d different detox. This is like a a revelation of a, of a universal reset. Not just within the world, but it's just within ourselves. You know, there's a lot of things that where um, we um, I'm gonna close my phone out. Uh, that we we feel like we're facing, and when we're facing a lot of things that's taking place in our life, it could be very triggering. It could be very uh, unsettling. And these are the things where it's getting to the, the core, where it's showing you your potential, it's showing you your, your strength, your power, your light, you know, you know, the warrior vibe within everything. And it's just making you a beast in so many different ways. And it's not making you a beast of wanting you to become bitter, but it's wanting you to become better. Um, and it, it, it really challenges you. And, you know, and at times it can be very hard when you when you're facing so many different things at one time. And it's just like a lot of us, we're not just facing one thing. We're facing like about 10 or 15 other things. It could be our finances, it could be our love life, it could be our marriage, it could be our family, um, our household. Uh, I don't know if I said financial, you know, it, it's just going through and going through grief. Of reality it, grief doesn't always have to pertain to you know people passing away but it's a grief of what has to be accepted the uh, a grief of uh, what no longer exists in our life you know a grief from us closing doors because it's, it's, it's like we'll be quick like oh I can close this door you know towards different things but then it'll be we'll be stuck in rotation you know and a lot of times they'll feel like what am I doing wrong what am I doing wrong and the universe is is really urging us to stop looking at everything that we can't get a total grasp of like really quick to stop looking at it like you're doing something wrong you're not it's just the fact is you have to be able to go through this so spirit if we're a straight in spiritual form <laughs> it wouldn't be nothing we will only blink and next thing I'll be gone but since we're going through a human experience these uh, these uh, tribulations is, is triggering something for us to be able to acknowledge one on ourselves you know um a lot of times we feel like we can't hack it a lot of times we feel like we can't keep keep moving forward universe doesn't understand what we're going through they don't care you know or they're putting on so much stuff on me that you know it it, it can make you mad when it said you know that that saying is like god is not gonna put on you on nothing that you can't handle you're looking like he must have said that when, when I wasn't only going through one of one a few things. And it's like, no, um, there's a lot of times that we have to go through these things. And it gets to that point where we can constantly allow ourselves to think, see things as in a negative. Or we can allow ourselves to do that emotional clearing and being able to see the lesson from that, you know, the positive lesson of that, that experience that makes it feel like it's so negative. It's like it's built up in a negative uh, vibration of how we choose to see it because uh, we still hold fear. We still hold doubts. You know, we still hold lack of belief, you know, um, faith, you know, all those different things. And that's human. We're being human. 
and it's not easy for us to be able to get through spiritual warfare it was never intended to be easy you know there's a lot of us that are you know fearful but we're still allowing ourselves to really face these things head on it's just like if we know what is deserving of our lives there's some times that you can um you know really think you're moving forward in certain things but a lot of times we can be moving forward but it is in a way to hurt somebody it's in a way to spotlight somebody or you know it's like all those different things that are taking place and universe wants us to be able to get uh, used to corrective criticism when they send it to us it's like hey you're doing a great job but yeah you're still holding you know a grudge against someone or you're you know um or you're still angry with a person that you're placing your power and your thoughts into that that situation that person when all it was is that person bringing in that knowledge of honoring yourself is like or allowing yourself to see the red flags and things that are not quite uh serving you in that and and you know in that um, purest form of positivity these are not nurturing to your soul um allowing yourself to trust your intuitive trust your instincts you know allow yourself to be moving when the gut is telling you hey you know don't go that route you know because a lot of times we will we we will want those microwave blessings <laughs> micro microwave blessings um where we want things right now and universe is like they understand you know that we're working hard to get that and a lot of times we get in uncomfortable situations and a lot of times those uncomfortable situations will make us have drastic measures that if we we act too fast on it you don't realize you can forfeit all your blessings just because you acted you know uh so harshly and uh carelessly that you jumped into a situation because the situation you were in was really stressful to you it wasn't something that you wanted to deal with it wasn't something you can handle and then when you finally make that wrong decision you can end up you know messing up a lot of things that was entitled to you and that's why they always tell you you know uh get comfortable being uncomfortable anytime you're in a uh uncomfortable situation it's, it's, uh, it's just like that saying, you know, new level, different devils. You're going to deal with a lot of different things where it may feel like nothing is changing for you. Where you feel like, you know, why, why am I not in my, my, my moment of prosperity? Why am I not in my moment of abundance? And not realizing you're actually in that, but it's just not the way we're seeing it. And it's just like, I, I remember I was saying that with myself. I was like, dang, it is true. You know, because a lot of times when we think about abundance, prosperity is always about material things. It's all about money things. But these are the things that showing you where your worth is. You know, I'm showing you that you have the true potential to conquer anything. Um, allowing yourself to practice patience even through things like that you know it, it's at times you can be that that type of vibration like with god saying i don't like praying to you about positivity i mean our patience because you put me in situations that is really testing my patience and it's like that's what you prayed for you know because there'll be times that you know they want you to have faith in you know and what's going on because they're telling you you're you're you know you're getting prepped you're getting pruned these are the things that are doing that but it's doing that through spiritual warfare and a lot of times that's where they're telling us this is where that moment where so many people give up just because it's become too much or they allow the things that is taking the place to strengthen them to keep them in a weak you know vulnerable situation and they don't want you to be able to do that you know they know it's hard for you to be able to go through day by day by certain situations that you're in you may not know where your next meal is going to come from you may not know where the next check is going to come from you're trying to figure out how you're going to pay your bills how can you you know support your children how can you keep a roof over your head and these are the things that was telling you prosperity is on its way you know um your hard work is going to finally pay off all the things that you have faced you know through your heartaches your pain you know all these different things weren't in vain you know um you still try to push out a kind heart when evil is all is you, you embrace <laughs> you know you trying to show encouragement where there's vibrations of you experiencing constant neglect you know when you have kindness you you project kindness towards people where all everything was you know placed on you that was very harsh you know and that's a challenge because there's a lot of people that feel like when you have been in an environment like that it, that's all it's going to be and we, a lot of times we, we feel that way I've even felt that way like there's nothing good coming out of my situation I've never you know anything that was happy in my life it was very short 
and it was just like or I've done so many different things I can be successful for I uh, pause y'all pause for the calls sorry about that y'all I got my grandbaby with me yeah we can go through a lot of different things in our life and we're really trying to understand how can something positive come out of a negative circumstances how can I turn my narrative into seeing it was a blessing in disguise and it's just like a lot of times we don't realize it's all about how we choose to see it you know uh, even though we get angry and feel like God has failed us in a major way you know this is how he impacts that love through you know all the different things that you feel like is going against us so you know it's, it, it's really it, it can be really hard at times because of, of all that but then it's just like you you know it already prepared you you're going to be facing a lot of things that is going to destroy anything that is built on illusion anything that's built on negative anything that was no longer serving you it, it, anything that goes against your path of purpose is being destroyed and for that you know we have to understand we if we've been living in a vibration for so long in a in a certain vibration for so long and you got very complacent in that you got very used to that you know you didn't move you know because you're so used to that or you know universe is telling you you know we hey we got a new new venture for you to go towards and it can be very scary because you don't know you know uh where it's going to lead you to you, we've placed that fear in there like i don't know if i have what it takes uh what if i don't know what i'm doing what if you know people don't believe in me what am i not heard or i'm not seen you know and it's just like we're allowing play uh, fear and um doubt to place um that shadows our judgment that clouds our judgment not being able to understand if you know universe and god wouldn't place us in a certain situation if he couldn't believe that we could do that you know um and it's all about how being able to see our own potential throughout that you know it's just like place love into yourself where you're not nurturing you know because a lot of times we don't realize when we're speaking oddly of ourselves like oh i already knew this wasn't gonna happen or oh i constantly allow myself to be disappointed and you know this and then that you know and then we're building up this own our own narr narr narrative of a negative character about ourselves you know in a negative way and instead of seeing you know maybe this is really you know they're pushing me out my comfort zone because they really want me to see you know how what I can really truly do what can I benefit out of change that's taking place you know this challenge is really trying to allow me to really see you know uh, where I can be determined in you know am I allowing myself to really you know see where my strength lies at through different adventures that we're using you know being able to do things in a new way you know it could have been that fact is that you 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 know they sent you on that that path for a minute and all of a sudden it took a, a quick shift you know because they feel like okay you've experienced enough of that situation you have learned a lot of life lessons about that you are showing gratitude towards that situation you want more in your life your hunger for something uh different into your life your hunger for something more and when you're doing that, any prayers that you have is like, I want to be successful. You know, I want to do this. I want to do that. Like maybe you want to build up your own website, uh, you know, uh, company and stuff like that. The next, you know, this falls through, that falls through. The people that were going to endorse you, all of a sudden they changed their mind. Um, or people that you decided to work with all of a sudden abandoned you. Um, people that believed in you just felt like oh this would never be possible and it's just like you're going through that and it's just like you you ask me to do all these different things and next you know everything is falling apart but an actual actual uh fact is not it's falling apart but it's preparing you for something bigger maybe the people that were going to endorse you was going to end up stealing your idea and patting it off and you know make money off of that situation or the person that um that says they were going to you know collab with you on these things that really didn't want you know that was going to be built up into the situation to tear you down it would have did more harm than good into your life or the people that you that was going to sponsor and give you the money you know uh was never going to allow you to take the credit of the things that you needed like you just needed that money but they would have tried to make it seem like it's something else just to tear you down so your business will plummet so those are the different things that they're showing you this is the reason why you don't know what was going on behind your back you don't know what was going on behind you know it's like 444 you don't know what's going on behind the scenes of what's taking place so in actual fact for them to do that even though they ripped all these things away and you're learning from experience of all these things that's happening they're giving you ideas of how for you to manifest your money 
you know, through your ideas of doing that. Maybe you started a, 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 a fundraiser on doing different things and you have different activities that you know that will catch people's eye that you know that people will uh, it will bring attention to somebody or you may have done certain things on uh, like one of the social media sites it had like a super chat thing that's going on like hey you know I got this thing that I'm trying to do you know and then you're doing these different things and it's showing you all the potential you had and all that vibration of you know just really fueling yourself like I'm really determined to make this work and you had to be able to go through that through the adversity and the diversity you had to go through with people that you thought that was going to be there by your side so when you finally do skyrocket nobody can't say oh they wouldn't have had that if it weren't for my money or you know it's just the fact is oh now I can sit up here and put my two cents in you know because a lot of times people like say if somebody wanted to sit up here and sign into that they don't had you sign into a contract and you didn't see the fine print of it you know you thinking they only supposed to get like a a, a five or ten uh, percent uh, let me see like a profit off of every hundred dollars that you you know you endorse or you you get over or whatever like that and to come to find out it was a lot more than that they just made sure that they put that in the fine print that you didn't know that and then all of a sudden all your hard work done went over to them you know and you trying to understand wait a minute this is my blood sweat and tears this is my ideas these are the things i stayed up late for at night these are the times that i don't you know i, I don't sit up here and neglected my family these are the things that i stopped hanging out with my friends for and you don't took this and you profit off of it and all you did is just push the paper you know and i did all the rest of the work and then they'll be showing you you did this on your own anything that has came to your life and it untripled and it's keep tripling and tripling and tripling and then you can be proud of yourself saying i did this on my own I never would have known how this would have happened. And you may not have gotten that far if you would have been with all those different people that was claimed to be in this, this thing with you. And now you're seeing, you know, you enjoyed that. But it was just, it was hard for you to be able to build that up when you were going through different things. You didn't have the money. You didn't have the resources. You didn't have the people. You know, they always say it's not what you know, but it's who you know. All these different situations and through all those hardships, you don't build up a thing within yourself that you didn't realize you were doing because a lot of times you know it's just like oh you trying to lose amount of weight and you know bad you know there's a lot of people after three days you try to see if you notice anything you like full size you know <laughs> start going like this like oh you only been going for three days now if it's like three weeks or three months later down the line then start looking to see it'll slowly start building up you know with the muscle so it's just like you're constantly going through you know spiritual warfare it, it can be very hard you're going through different things and it's just like there there's moments where things can really hit you hard like for a few days and you're just like am i going to wake up and, and deal with this but then it gets to that point where you're tired of fighting against the inevitable change is always going to have to come along in our lives and a lot of times it's really hard to be able to go against you know it's, it's hard to go against change but it gets to that point where am I going to fight this or let, let me allow myself to flow with it because a lot of times we don't realize we create more because we're not accepting the change we create more when we keep on resisting towards that we keep going against the current on everything that's taking place and it's like when you're doing that you know there's so many different things that's coming on it's just like well all the things that I have going on in my life and just being able to see you know even though I may not understand what's going on I can allow myself to see look how far I've come you know I'm, I'm helping a lot of people uh, to recognize things within themselves that's been very confusing and a lot of times it's like in the same vibration y'all are helping me as well because there are so many different things that I may have second guessed myself about or maybe I didn't see I was being heard or or I wasn't being recognized in the way that I hoped but then it was just like even when it didn't take off overnight it showed me where my persistence is you know because it's like even this the last week that I've been doing this it made me feel so good because I was challenging myself. I said, okay, I want to do this. You know, I'm making like 10 or 15 videos a day and just allowing them, you know, just to upload back and back and back. And then it gave me something else to do. It was just like, you're not, you're working smart. You're not working hard. You know, because it was just like when I first started, it was like probably like the second year or the third year. I was making 12 videos a day. You know, in 12 videos, I like, keep on going. You got so much content, content. And I didn't realize by the time, you know, I'm in my, I think my sixth year. I think this is my sixth year doing it and you got like almost close to a little bit over 4,500 videos 
that I've done and I'm proud of myself like that I said even though you know I didn't get that many views you know I don't have that that many subscribers it was the fact is I see my potential because I don't square so much different you know content that if I was to stop today and, and go without a year I could be able to do that because I got that much content left to where if I wanted to just like okay I want to take a break from this I still love it but I want to venture off and do something else there's videos that a lot of people have not covered yet <laughs> you know so I'm just like that's why universe I'm like why you got me doing all these many videos this and this and I'm not really getting no views I'm not really getting recognized and it was just like you you'll find out down the road why we made you do that you know and it was just like you're you're doing all these different things and it was just like me covering twin flames it was doing pagans and uh uh witches and wiccans and all that stuff then it's infjs then it was narcissists then it's a lot of hayokas i've been doing hayokas for almost close to four years you know and it, it was just all straight videos and there's a lot of people that got in contact with me saying rosalind i, I look it up of what a uh, hayoka was and I never knew what it was but all of a sudden I just started seeing a list of videos that you were doing like I, I see different people that covered it you know but not like you were and I was just like you know universe was telling me hey you got to keep doing these videos I'm like I don't know what is going on but it was just like go off of the visions you get go off of how you had to you know master your own mastery of being able to see opt obstacles in so many different versions of it you know when you're going through things that are unfolding for you to change and heal and grow and it was just like oh, okay you know and it was just like I didn't know what I was doing and you know even when I first found out I was a Hayoka I was just like where is this coming from why is this out the blue that y'all want to just tell me oh, okay you don't set me in a position to be a Hayoka when I don't even know what it is and it was just like me having dreams it was like two and three you know weeks I kept having dreams where I'm walking through the forest. You know, I'm seeing these beautiful, you know, uh, shadow dances and stuff that's going on. It was like fire rituals. I'm seeing all different tribes that's coming in where different paint was on their face. You know, different hairdresses is on 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 there in the situation where I had uh, a chief, you know, come to me and it was like, come on, and follow me, little hey, okay. I'm like, what did you call me? Me and, 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 and chief, we're about to go at it because I was like, you call me that one more time. I don't know what that means. And he was laughing at me. He's like, you'll find out in the little hey, okay. I'm like, stop calling me that, sir. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you're calling me. But it was weird because I was talking in a mother language. And it was just like really trying to understand that. And me doing that, it was, I was going through so many different things was coming at me at one time. Because I tell people, when your spiritual awakening hits, when I say so much negative stuff comes up that makes you want to doubt yourself, make you want to end everything, make you feel the worst of the worst about you. I went towards that time to tell many of you. You know, and I'm just like, where is this coming from? And why is everything after me? Because I'm doing that. You know, it was like different shadows. I'm, I'm sitting up here speaking in a language and moving in a certain way I'm not used to. Putting paint on my face and, and recognizing what the paint was for. And pissing the shadow things off. You know, it was just so many different things that was going on. And they were like, this ain't something. He's like, pay attention. You realize we've been preparing this for you even before you got here? You know, and I'm like, uh, break it down, dumb it down dot com for me. What do you? <laughs> it was like, well, what it, are you talking about? And it was just like different things where you know, my mom, she's Native American. My adopted mom, she's Native American. And then it, it was like she would take me to different reservations. I was born near a reservation. You know, different parts of my life where it's where my family resonates at, and, and their stomping ground is you know, high Native American country. You know, so all these different things where they gave me little turquoise, you know, bracelets and rings I was supposed to wear to a certain moon and stuff like that praying over me and putting little things on my head and you know my mom had to keep certain trinkets and stuff you know just to prepare me for it you know and she was like oh well, I had to take you here and we go to uh, uh what would they call that um uh, oh god dog I forgot what they call it but it was like um it's not a rest area but I forgot what the name of it is called uh not a reservoir. I'm not thinking about that either. But when you go to the store in, in the Native American community where they have that, um, where I had to go. And I really, my, my it was like right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it's called. But um, it was on the reservation and different stuff like that. When we went to Texas, Oklahoma, all these different places. Um, and it, it would be just, oh, okay, she's ready. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, like, my mom had to be hush-hush about it because I wasn't supposed to know. And it would be, okay, you know, they prayed over me, okay, you know. And it, always loved different things where I had to go into uh, 
school where we, we learned about you know the the Native American doings and you know how how things were done and stuff like I was very intrigued about it and just never knew they were like it's not out of the blue just think about the things that you did when you were little just think about little gifts that you got little prayers that they had over you you know you're seeing different pictures and you're, you're able to tell a story when you were little and you know and I'm just like well okay so then it started making sense. You know, all of us is being prepared for these things that was going to impact us as in this moment. Because it's like certain things when we were growing up, it, it may feel, you know, not important. But it will impact you in a big way when it comes down to it. When it wants you to be able to say, remember this, remember that, you know. And it's just like our elders, they're showing us the way. There's a lot of people that was before us that actually grew up. You know, on that, you know, the reserve where they learned as soon as they were able to walk and talk. And some of them, it was like that before they were able to crawl. Where they're supposed to be helping out the ones that are hybrids, you know. And with us both together, that, that that's something like a dynamic, dynamic duo, you know. So we're going through these. We're strengthening ourselves through the war, for warfare that universe has got us guiding towards, you know. So it's there where it's going to really break your bond of what you used to be. And this is how they're doing it through, you know, all these different things that's going against us where we feel like it's really breaking us down. You know, and a lot of times we, we, we are feel of we're fuel to fear our fears. You know, and this is that like they're telling you to feel this for the fears to create a fiercely you know vibration of a future because you that's what you're doing because it's like when we go when we finish this this situation whatever it is we're facing there's going to be times where you're not going to worry about judgment from any other person their opinions are not going to matter about what how you live your life how you see yourself is what truly matters there's not going to be any external validation you're not going to be worried about what people say when it comes to your life you know, you're not going to allow yourself to keep dwelling on the past of things that is no longer concerning you. You're going to see everything that you faced that broke you down was the exact same thing that builds you up. And this is where they're telling us, don't lose hope. Because everything that you're facing is creating something that the devil do not want you to discover. It's like they always tell you, if they fear what you discover about yourself. That's why there's so much doubt that comes your way. That's where so many people don't believe in, in what you're doing or they're trying to tell you in your society you can't do this it's your your age bracket you can't do this the money in your bank account you can't do this you know whatever you know sexual orientation you have you can't do this whatever background you come from you can't do this now it's just like I'm my own person I don't care what y'all in society tell me what I can't do I'm about to break barriers not to prove it to you but prove it to myself and the rest will follow just because the fact is I don't have nothing to prove to nobody but when I walk in the room my inner Energy is going to speak before I do. And then that's what the universe is telling you. This is that spiritual warfare that is just going to make you like, you, you can't be touched. You already can't be touched as it is. But these situations are going to show you. Nobody can't stop you except you. Nobody can't block you but you. Anything that is touching you, whether, you know, hoodoo, voodoo, all those other things is strengthening you. Everything that we face is going to be that situation where it's going to be like, wow, if I didn't go through this, I would never know how far I could go. If I didn't face these things, I would never know what, what strength was. I would never know what determination was. I would never know what motivation was, persistence, being consistent, you know, never being complacent, being able to allow myself to challenge my own self through those challenging situations. You know, being able to use my fear to create better for my life, especially if it's something I know I, I no longer feel like I need to be in. Never wear my welcome out in a certain stage of my life that is already meant to be closed. I'm creating my own doors. It's like, you know, you're closing another one and you're creating your own door to push through. And that's why we're going through spiritual warfare, just to be able to have that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Koi Lijijuni. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, I totally apologize. Welcome to the fam. It's so good to have you. Uh, Wildflower, much love to you, sis. All love and hugs towards you. As well as Jeffrey Sherman, much love to you with your silly self. Brian, much love to you, daughtery from Scotland. Much love to you as well. 
And if you're new to my channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to be able to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I leave all my contact information in the description box below. You know, so it's all about spiritual networking. You know, people, you know, connect with me through email or through, you know, one of my other social media sites. And, you know, let me know the things that they have gone through and what they're trying to understand what, what's going on. Or is it, you know, is there a deeper understanding towards the troubles they're facing? That's when I come in. You know, either if I can't tell you from experience. I tell you from through universe where they're you know they're sending you know sending that towards me to give you the insight that you know broadens your perspective of your life and whatever we speak on you know is is, is private you know is under your discretion and I do the best that I can and I also leave my link to my podcast as well and I will be putting different you know different content out it's like I just put down two was it two the other day? It was like probably about three or three, four days ago. But I said I'm gonna start changing it up because I was guided to, you know, start talking about different things, you know, about, you know, healing your inner child, you know, welcoming peace into your life, when going through emotional stillness and grounding, um, different uh things to spot through narcissistic behaviors, you know, all these different things that are taking place, um, that can be truly beneficial towards you. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. And um, also, yes, I do. If you feel generous enough to drop a donation, you know, the cash app is there as well. Um, I hope you have a blessed day. We can please be responsible and safe with all you do. Whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, I'm sending so many beautiful prospects. Blessings towards your life that whatever is coming in is going to triple, is going to dimple, is going to hit in so many different ways. When that door of blessings of a levee bust open, it you can't even stop it when it comes in. So I'm sending that towards your way. Please stay persistent and consistent. There's so many beautiful things that are taking place into your life, you know, that is really trying to prepare you for greatness. So, you know, hey, you could give up today and your blessings of uh, prosperity could be opening tomorrow. So, you know, the enemy is always wanting you to, you know, seek and destroy for you to quit so you keep on keep on and you'll see me on my next video much love peace